I'm Jen, and this is the Roby Crafters, and today I'm going to do a knitting demonstration on camera. I'm going to knit up the wool and make this pattern, blueberry muffin snood, which I'm going to call a cow, but they call this nude, and do it with the needles from We Are Knitters. They're um, size, U.S. size 19. So this all came with pattern. Let's get everything here. As part of a kit from We Are Knitters. One of the big attractions of making things in super chunky yarn is that it works up super fast. Which brings me to my demonstration today and the reason why I have the clock tick tick ticking on the wall. Because I'm going to knit it up in front of the camera to demonstrate just how fast these kinds of projects can go. Alright. So you ready? I'm ready. I've been ready for a couple of days. I've been putting this off just so that I could do it for you in front of the camera. Okay. Got label stuck in there. Before we cast on, we have to take one very important preparation. Coffee sip. Let's check the pattern just to be sure. Make sure I get the count right. Yes. So what's this on my finger? This is my row counter. And I blogged about it weeks ago, months ago. And I do, and I use it, I use it all the time. But I wanted to put it on and use it during this video to prove to the whole world that ah, I still have it, I haven't lost it. And I can lose a row counter about as fast as anyone in the world can lose a stitch marker, I can lose it. You know, in about 45 minutes and it'll just be gone. But this row counter, because it's attached to my body, I have managed to keep it for months. And how amazing is that? Fifteen. And of course, to ensure that I don't lose the little precious row counter, I went out and bought a second one. Because I figure if I have a backup, for when I need it, I'll never need it. That's the way I that's the way my life goes. All right, so knitting with the big needles. Of course, I won't make you watch the whole thing. I'm gonna let you skip ahead a lot, but that's what the clock is for. To keep us honest and to see just how long it takes to knit up a project on size 6 super chunky yarn with big hunkin needles With this row, about a third of the way through it, I think it's going really nicely. And it says I'm about 23 minutes into this video. So. Here 
there's a few there's a few tricks to knitting with uh, large needles with large yarn and one of them is to give yourself breaks because you're holding up needles that are a lot heavier and require more hand strength so give yourself breaks and for me I need to uh, make sure that I don't cramp right here at the base of the thumbs and I need to twist my wrist clockwise and counterclockwise and just keep them nice and loose because once you've cramped you've gone too far you've gone past the point of comfort so stop before you start getting cramps and you know what will help you stop and take little breaks coffee Okay, so I'm on my last row, my last row of this piece. Um, the Blueberry Muffin Snoo is made in two pieces, and this is the big piece. So I made it first. Yeah, I'm on the last row. And I think that took me just, just over an hour, right? Yeah. It's not bad. Get this all pearled up. So just over an hour. And that, and I'm not a fast knitter, not by any stretch. And that was with. Um, frequent breaks to stop and stretch my hands and work out the kinks because I really believe in that. Okay. And here it is. And now to bind off. Now the pattern doesn't say anything about any particular way to bind off, so I'm just going to do the knit one, slip one over, bind off, and bind up loosely. Alright. Now, tail is going to be used to sew, not sew up with, so I'm going to give myself a nice, generous tail. Fold that up. Put it aside, because now I need to start the second piece. which in the pattern is called a ribbon, and I think of it as a cuff. And it's much smaller. And it's gonna go even faster. Reset the row counter. Don't knit with the tail. Always an issue with me. Can't tell you how many, how often the first few stitches gets made with the tail and they have to be backed up. But not this time. Do you see that? Do you see that? That was victory. 
So I'm going to whip out this little ribbon, as it were, and catch up with you there. Here I have my little ribbon made. And I'm done with the needles. Piece number two, piece number one, and now it's time to sew up. And it's time for me to admit that I might have lost a little tapestry needle that came in the We Are Knitters kit. I kind of knew I would. You know, I, I, I'm very good at losing things very good at losing things, but I have a whole bunch of tapestry needles fortunately for me. If you don't have one and you order a gift from We Are Knitters, then don't lose your tapestry needle because you're going to need it like you're going to, you're always going to need them to uh, sew things up with. So here we go. Sewing out everybody's favorite part. Not. So I'm going to let you skip this too. And that's the big piece sewn up. My little piece. Of course, the ribbon in this pattern is a really clever device. Because when you make a cowl flat um, and you work it from end to end and then and then sew it up from the cast on to the bind off, you have a little seam. No matter no matter how careful you are with sewing, you're gonna have a visible seam. And the ribbon is what you place right over that seam so that you never see it. like cheating. And if you've read my blog or you know how 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 much do I like cheating? A lot. Life is short. Knitting is and crocheting and it is all for fun. So if you feel like cheating and you know how don't. twist it around. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. Ta da! The blueberry muffin snood. In what? About an hour and a half? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so, right? An hour and a half? From. Yeah. From cast on. To finish off a project. Ta da! And that is the appeal of these really big, of these really big yarns and really big needles. It doesn't take any time at all to work up your project. So if you're looking for a quick knit, if you're looking for a project that you can begin and finish while you watch your favorite movie, this is how you do it. Now, the snood, the blueberry muffin snood is a pretty simple, pretty simple, good project for beginners. Knit. 
And um, as you can see, I still have yarn left. So it didn't even take quite the whole ball of yarn from We Are Knitters. Now in the pattern, where's the pattern? It's this nude end headband. So that's why you have the extra yarn, so that you can make a headband. And I'm not going to do that because I have plans for this that involve test felting. Just to see. I have some ideas. But anyway, that's for another post. When you need a quick gift, when you need to crank out a project right away, nothing beats a super chunky yarn and big honking needles. And that's all I really wanted to demonstrate in this video today. Um, I'm going to do a full review of what I think of the materials, the needles, the yarn, the pattern, and everything from We Are Knitters in my next post. So I hope you'll join me there. Till then.